Let them applaud. See, this is probably the last time they'll be looking at you and me, sir. Yeah, well, that's the way it see is. What's it's gonna a cold come out business. Here. I know. <laughs> really, big, handsome guys bug you. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, we'd like to punch him, right? Yeah. But this guy, I wouldn't. He is bigger than both of us. What if we... No. 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 We're not going to gang up on him. He is uh, terrific. He is uh, probably the most exciting of Hollywood's new young leading men. His career um, started a couple of years ago with a series called The Voyagers. Last year, he starred in the television movie, which got huge, huge ratings called The Making of a Male Model with Joan Collins. Oh, oh sure. Start right in. Well, he's not coming out on my stage. Well, you'll be fascinated to know that he has another television series, and it starts this fall on CBS called Cover Up. And it's a good one. Welcome, John Eric Hexum. <laughs> You must see and hear that audience reaction. Yeah. Huh? Yes. Always interesting when a handsome guy, and, he, and Steve, when you walked on, they did it too. <laughs> not a lot. Sticks and stones. No, not a lot. But why do girls always whisper to each other? You did it. The minute you walked out, they went, what are they telling you? Look at his cuffs, look at his shoes. I have no idea. It makes it very suspicious. Doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Boy, that voice. Are you singing at all anymore, John? A little bit. A little bit. You know, go to class, that sort of thing, but yeah. nothing real formal. Well, why don't you break the mold and come I, on well, back on and sing on the show sometime? I'd love to. We're, we're thinking about it. We talked about this last time. Yeah. I, I, you're afraid to. Huh? <laughs> Are you chicken? Come on. Okay, I'll go do something. I'll throw something up here. No, I will. I'll, sometime I'll come back, I promise. Come back and sing with a band. That would really be well, I'd love to. Yeah. Sure. This is a, a whole new uh, series, a uh, cover-up. Mm -hmm. uh, you play a uh, private eye? Not really. I play an ex-Green Beret who's a, who's a bit irreverent and gets thrown out of the Army. And before he does, he makes a poster for the Marines, and from that gets a lot of modeling jobs. And from that becomes a successful model and works with Jennifer O'Neill, who's the photographer. Well, and so we become foreign spies, making the world safe for democracy. Mm -hmm. And Richard Anderson, our old Oscar, plays our boss. Isn't that too bad? Mm -hmm. That sounds like a great show. That's no, great fun. Yeah. Great fun. Did you want to do a series? Yes. Yeah, we had spoken. You didn't want to head towards the great big screen? Well, yeah, but they didn't offer me, you know, the uh, return of Indiana Jones. So this huh. was a, it. Was a, a, Did you get offered that? Did, yeah. yeah you turned did. it down. Turn it down. <laughs> not you. That's no. funny. I turn it down, too. Temple of Doom, I said. I'm not going to be in a movie called Temple of Doom. It's not for you, Murray. No, no. Um, <laughs> but we have, we have great fun with it, and I have great fun, I have flexibility with my character. I mean, so he's a fun guy. Male model was it was a great time, but the, the the guy I played in it was always upset, didn't want to leave the ranch. Nobody was nice to him in New York. Yeah, oh, they yeah, didn't I have am. a lot of fun. This character has a lot of fun. That's good. That is good. Life changed for you now. I mean, with all this success you're having, and no, you I changed houses and. Well, yeah, I moved to Burbank. <laughs> oh, you moved to Burbank. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Got a nice uh, big house. No, I got a house in a foreclosure sale. I hadn't hadn't seen it. The the price was right, and it was just kind of. I, I, I really don't want to buy big houses and things just yet. Well, uh, what's it furnished like? I mean, uh, give me an example. Well, it's not just yet. I, <laughs> you have a house in Burbank yeah. that you got in a foreclosure sale and no furniture. Yeah, well, I just lived there with a couple of friends, you know, and we're just sort of paying the mortgage. And uh, I'm not there a whole lot. I just get there and pick up the phone messages and go to sleep. Couch? Mm. You have a couch? No. <laughs> I, uh, you got a bed? Yeah, I bought a bed about a month ago. Oh. So I know, I broke down. Um, other than that, I don't have a whole lot. I got an answering machine. That's basically it. It's kind of. And you don't? Do you cook? No. <laughs> you don't do a lot, right, at home there, John? Not Tell a lot of Is the house parties. dirty? No. It's in disarray. Beer cans? Some. But <laughs> they're in the, in the corners, basically. Yeah. Tell us what is in the refrigerator, other than the old lemon that is now wrinkled. That? A couple, you know, a couple of beer cans and a little ketchup. I don't remember where that came from, but mm. it sort of sits there. You really don't care about all the trappings in no, life? No, I don't. It doesn't interest me a whole lot. But suppose you come in, and you're going to with cover up to a lot of loot. You've got to change your lifestyle a little bit, get a little penthouse up here on Sunset, something like that. No? No, I don't think so. I, I kind of just sort of saving it. I make my saving. own movie. Yeah, you know, and maybe finance a movie if I have to. 
Are you never you, know what's going to happen. Are you thrifty? You know? Can I put it that way? Yeah, real thrifty. Cheap is the word. Well, <laughs> are we getting close? Girlfriends think I'm cheap. Oh, but, yeah? Uh, you don't give presents? Not particularly. You know, I go to Denny's a lot, that sort of thing. <laughs> I mean, because he's the opposite of that. You would think, looking at him here, he would be up at Spago every night, lingerie, signing those great big checks, Mom Maison. No, I, it hurts me terribly. I mean, the, the food's great, but oh, I, I really can't tell that much difference. And, and it just costs like crazy. And the studio owns this, so. He is cheap, huh? <laughs> uh, mm, 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 mm. You, um, you were involved in an arrest last night? How do you hear about these things? Stories get around. <laughs> Story, you made a citizen's arrest. Well, no, no, let me, I'll, I'll tell you quick what happened. I, I was just driving along up 405, and somebody cut me off. And the guy's swerving like crazy, and, and he takes off. And I, I'm following him because he's just about hitting a whole bunch of other people. And I'm feeling a little bit guilty if I let him, you know, just do so. So I kind of follow him, and he takes me all the way down to L.A. We go, drive about 15 miles. And you're still chasing the guy? Well, yeah, I'm kind of honking at him and waving at him. And he's just sort of, you know, swerving away and not paying a whole lot of attention. And I, I finally, he finally gets off the exit, and I kind of cut him off and jump out and open his door and say, I think you better get out. We should talk about this. And he kind of takes off up the, uh, you know, along the sidewalk. And that happens a couple more times. Eventually, we stop, and we have a conversation, and uh, I tell him he better get in my car, and I'll give him a ride home. Um, we had a little bit of a scuffle, but we kind of got along later. I bummed a cigarette from him. We talked. <laughs> and uh, then we kind of ended up at the police station. I said, I hate to do this, but... I, mean, I can't let you drive, and, and, and I, I know you're gonna if I, if I let you go. And, uh, you know, he got a little upset and all that. So they arrested him. And uh, that was it. And now you feel bad today because... Well, I feel a little guilty, you know. I kind of got to know him. He wasn't a bad guy, but... <laughs> <he's> wayward. <laughs> Were um, you in the can last night, Steve? No, but I met the guy later on in the evening. Yeah. Wasn't <laughs> well, he a nice guy? Nice fella. I, you know, just... Let's show him, John, uh, a scene from your uh, new series. And it's going to be on uh, Saturday nights on CBS. Saturday nights at, at 10 o'clock, yes. That's a good time, CBS. Mm -hmm. there's, there's a little bit of the uh, ex-Green Beret stuff in, in this clip, and then we go to the photo session with Jennifer O'Neill and, and some of the girls. Okay, it's kind of a montage. It's not an action. Yeah, it, it goes through uh, the, the different stages of the right. character. Here's John Eric Hexham, a scene from his new series, Cover Up. Please try and smile. Danny, it's 85 degrees out here, and I'm wearing wool. It's kind of difficult to smile. You know what I mean? That's the price of glamour. Smile. Oh, all right, we'll oh. smile. <laughs> John Eric Hexen. Good luck with that, John. Thanks very much. Much success. And we'll come back after this message.